So first off, the, somebody asked in the comments for a size comparison and this is the Hisense A5 and as you can see, it's the A5 is a little bit taller than this one the width is the same though but of course it's so much lighter I wish phones would be as high as this one so basically it's just an e-reader uh, it has uh, 128 MB of RAM it uses a um, custom uh, operating system it's called UCOS and uh, around 8 GB of internal storage uh, another website listed it as 4 GB and that's wrong it's actually 8 GB I've checked it mm. as you can see it has a sort of glossy sc screen but it's not that glossy and uh, compared to others like the Xiaomi Ink Palm this one it's it's not that glossy as you can see the glossy is similar to that of the A5 with a matte protector so yeah so this is the home screen it doesn't have touch screen so you have to navigate using these buttons hmm. so let's go to the library thank it supports a lot of formats pdf mobi and epub all the major ones uh check out the article in the the link is in the description you'll see all the list of the supported formats so let's open up a book and see so first let's open up a text file text files are the ones where you have the most options for editing the fonts and the format of uh, other files like epub have less uh, options so it's not the fastest in terms of speed and page turning it's pretty good it's clear and there's no noticeable ghosting at all so that's nice and you have some options add bookmarks add favorites you can jump a page search works well but uh, okay one thing uh because of the doesn't have the screen typing is a bit of a <laughs> it's a bit difficult because you have to click this and select and then <laughs> so there you go okay look at more options And you can change the font size, font type. It has a few fonts to choose from. Line spacing, margin. I like that they've added all these options. They've thought it out well. You can rotate the screen to make it. then you can also have like a black and white background uh i mean a black background with white text i personally like the white background but some people prefer this so this is a nice feature to have there's more noticeable ghosting though with the black background compared to the white one I have uh, made the settings so that there's a refresh after every 5 th page turns but you can make it to refresh with every page turn to reduce the costing you can change you can select the type of refresh you want or have The feature I like the most is this one, auto flip, which basically like you 
can guess by the name it's by the name itself that it flips automatically by itself the page okay so let's enable this one let's see then that's a nice feature to have I think 20 seconds would be best with the epop file though there's uh, less a bit less um, options for the book format you can still change the font size and margin but there's no font type and line spacing pdfs also work well but i think the size is too small for pdfs zoom in so there's Sokoban and Jigsaw Jigsaw it's just numbers So you have to move this and you find I remember playing this type of game in like 2004 2005 in those Nokia or Motorola phones brings back nice memories this one is a bit more fun compared to the other one <laughs> on to level 2 oops <laughs> There's also a calendar, but you can't do anything with it. You cannot add reminders or anything, just calendar. The buttons here, um, this one goes backwards to the previous page and this one goes forwards to the next page. Maybe it's just me, but I would have liked it to be reversed, you know, like this would go to the next page and this one to the previous one there's no Wi-Fi on this device so you have to sideload everything from your PC sideloading works smoothly you just plug in a micro USB cable and plug into your computer and you can copy paste all your books here for me personally I don't need front light even for my Hisense A5 Pro CC which is as you can see it's a lot dimmer than this one I never use front light, um, so it's not a problem for me. But some people do like front light on the e readers, but uh, this one doesn't have one, so maybe for some people that might be a problem. I like that there are a lot of options to customize your reading experience i didn't expect that from this kind of reader but they've really thought it out and added all the important options so that's quite nice it's very light like this is the lightest uh, tablet or e-reader i've ever held and it's very nice to hold you can probably hold this read hold this for hours and read like in the park it comes with uh, English straight out of the box so that's a nice feature because uh, many e-readers that come from China which I was sold in China 
usually don't have that option like you have to think over the settings to make to enable english so this editor supports a lot of formats from epub to mobi to pdf basically all the main form ebook formats are supported here and that's nice uh com when you know compared with other editors like the kindle which only f support a few formats so some people uh, bought the Hisense A5 specifically just to use it as a pocket e-reader. So for people like them, I think this would be a better option because it's very light. You can, you know, when you're out in a park or something and you can easily hold this and read for hours without your hand feeling tired. So, and also it's basically just an e-reader. So there are no like distractions or anything.